This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. The viewer's discretion is advised. Today we are going to see a routine case of phacoemulsification of hypermature cataract in which a rare complication called snap signs occurs due to rupture of posterior capsule. So as we can see this is a mature cataract and seems to be soft, not very hard. So we planned a routine phacoemulsification in this case and we started by introducing the local anesthesia preservative free lignocaine into the eye and then we stained the anterior capsule with blue rex dye and injected the viscoelastic inside the eye to start with rexes and with a 26 gauge cystodome we started doing a rexes capsulotomy sorry capsulorexes so initially we perf we planned with the double rexes technique so we made a small rexes intentionally and later on after releasing the some pressure of intra intralenticular pressure by rocking the nucleus now we give a small nick to extend the rexes into the bigger one and we started making a bigger rexes with this technique there are very less chances of this rexes extending into the perif periphery because of the lowered intra intralenticular pressure and uh, less chances of getting Argentinian flag sign. So here we are finished with the adequate sized very strong circular rexes and we proceeded with the main port as we were we have already planned a routine FACO so we started doing the hydro dissection and uh, till this time everything was going well but when at this point we saw a sudden snap or a sudden jerk as we introduced the fluid between the posterior caps anterior capsule and the nucleus i am playing this video again here you can see as i introduce i pushed the fluid for hydro dissection there is a jerk snap this one so i'm again replaying the video so there is a sudden deepening of anterior chamber depth this is what we called the snap sign this happens as because of sudden break in the posterior capsule and this can happen this can happen this can happen because of various reasons first is the defective posterior capsule which leads to the posterior capsular tear although i have performed a very gentle and very slow hydro dissection still it happened another reason can which can be possible is the pressure cooker sign when the excess of fluid suddenly accumulates behind the nucleus and between the posterior capsule that pressure the, uh, this fluid does not find its way to get out of this bag and it breaks the posterior capsule the sudden pressure rise in pressure breaks the posterior capsule so this is snap sign and at this moment i plan to convert the case into manual sics so i give a local anesthesia to keep the com patient comfortable before this as you have seen that i have enlarged the capsular axis into the bigger one much bigger one so that it will allow the nucleus to come into the delivery of the nucleus into the anterior chamber as we will deliver the nucleus via tunnel also so we need a larger size capsular axis so we proceeded with the routine scleral tunnel and uh, 
here we enters the anterior chamber and i first try to uh, elevate the nucleus with hydro and here with the sinski hook i try to bring the nucleus up into the anterior chamber but i can see there is large transparent bright reflex which shows there is a no posterior capsular support behind the nucleus so with the help of wire vectors very carefully i delivered the nucleus immediately out of the anterior chamber so the chances of falling the nucleus back into the vitreous cavity is very high so as there is a sigh of relief as because the nucleus is out and now the remaining cortex can be easily flushed away washed with the help of this simco cannula and we completely wash the cortex and here we can see clearly the posterior big very large posterior capsular defect and the tri triamcinolone is introduced to i am doing the manual vitrectomy after introducing the preservative free triamcinolone into the eye and the vitreous is stained and we have cleared the vitreous from the anterior chamber all the vitreous tags and introduce the pilocarbin to construct the nucleus in this case i temporarily plan to implant anterior chamber iol on the later date i will explant this and i will do the scleral fixation uh, iol so for now i have planned this anterior chamber iol so i introduce this ac iol rotated it horizontally this is introduced first vertically then it is rotated horizontally the haptics are placed into the angle the nucleus should be pupil should be absolutely round and it should overlap the optic of the iol and we can see there is no vitreous in the uh, anterior chamber there is a little bit of hyphema from the uh, from the bleeding which are which is taking place from the from the pockets of the tunnel so we sutured the tunnel we give 3 to 4 sutures with the 10 ohm nylon we sutured the main port we made for uh, for for performing the phaco emulsification the ac is well formed and we can see there is no leak and here we close the case so this is how and we introduce the and this triamcinolone which is which help which will help in decrease inflammation post operative so in this surgery in this case we have learned that the careful intraoperative observation of each and every step and timely action taken to manage that complication is very much important and as complications can happen with anyone but it should one should know how to manage it properly that is more important so best of luck and thanks for watching thank you very much